So, how much can $500 a night get in Thailand? And is it worth it? Kuzumui, it's one of the biggest and one of the most popular islands in all of Thailand. A lot of people come here to have a vacation and today I want to give you a bit of a look how that could be. I'm gonna tour you around this hotel that I feel like it's a little bit different from the places that I've shown you before. It's big, it's by the beach, but it's, it's in many ways it's kind of like an island inside of the island of Koh Samui. Let me, let me give you an impression of the W. So, walking around the lobby, just when you walk into this place, I gotta say, that blew me away right the second we got in here. And the concept of this hotel is actually quite interesting. So in Thailand so far, I've showed you a few hotels in Phuket and generally it's kind of like a nice mix. W is very known for being playful, for being a little bit out of the norm. There's a lot of art work all throughout the hotel. So right now I'm looking at Jack Nicholson and Robert De Niro from the movie The Taxi. Absolutely legendary. And so throughout the hotel, I have to say, I expected it to be even a little bit more colorful, but it's fairly subtle. If you walk through a hotel, it still looks super, super classy, super clean with some pieces, some accents, some artwork all over the place. So it's kind of like a bit of a gallery. In the evenings, this place fills out quite nicely. People come here for sunset to get some drinks. And I would say I'm gonna take you for sunset today as well. But first, let me give you a glimpse of the room when we first checked in and also the beach. It's kind of connected. We're living right by the beach. Let's go. So overall, much more color, much more energy in the whole place. And we're staying in a villa. The best, part, the best part about it is the outside, but just to give you a look at the room, a lot of wood and kind of like a little bit of playful design, a little bit of red. So yeah, I really like the, kind of like when I was just walking around here, I realized open shower. So you're half here, you can like, whatever, stand here in the morning and the weather has been just so amazing. So just being here right now, having the light shining in, and like nice big bathroom and again I don't know if they have a scent here or if it's still the natural wood but everything smells a little bit nice and woody but the best part when we first got into the place I'm like yeah that's that's super nice it's like a nice you know little villa big room so here's a little outside patio private pool but we are here right by the beach so the W I think they all they have is private villas all of them have pools and all of them are pretty much super close to the beach. See some people swimming. And this is pretty much our private little beach. It's absolutely insane. So. And there's a road behind the bush, so you have to find it. No matter who I know what will ever say. Just find your way and try to stay made it down to the beach and I have to say this place you could really call a beach we have kind of like a triangle you see the whole hotel from here and the coolest part yeah during the day is like you can just lay on the sandbags it gets super super hot so right now we're gonna be catching a bit of a tan and also they have this uh, what is it sip bar right by the beach I think we are probably gonna have a little bit of lunch some snacks later here but yeah this part is actually really really big in the morning also i went out just walking a little bit on the coast so yeah also can do some water sports i'm seeing some people are doing some pedal boarding we did some kayaking the other day yeah back looks sick man oh. yes intense believe me and I think also later today, we're scheduled to try out their Thai sauna and spa. Gonna have some type of massage. So yeah, I'll say let's have lunch and then let's head out and check out this spa. You know, I know Russian banya. I know a good hot spa. I saw a photo of this thing. Let's check it out. We're having our lunch time by the beach bar. 
and actually it's now a little bit late. Sunset is almost approaching to us. We got some, I think this is like Tom Yum um, taco. Tastes like that. We got some um, spaghetti. Looks pretty good. Salad, order some drinks. It's very nice vibe here. Detox, look younger, feel healthier. What do you want? Uh, I think I'll look younger. And how about you? How young you want to look? 15? <laughs> what you On our way right now to the sauna, and you know, from the drone shots, I have seen like a very interesting, nice house on the hill. I'm like, who's living there? But actually, it is the Coasis. Yeah, this is the house I was asking about. Yeah. Well, let's check it out. You go first. I already took a look. We have a sea view. This is very For real? Yes. Fun. Damn. Nice, out a little bit to the beach because I have to say I don't know if you can say we're lucky with the weather mm. or the opposite it's like I think it's the hottest it has ever been in Thailand so far for <laughs> yeah. us it's like nice 36 Five. yeah yeah right now I think so that is kind of like what I was talking we're right now in the middle of the sandbar just ran out through the palm trees I have to say they made this in a really really cool way so over there that is the sunrise on that side back there there is like i think the six senses hotel this island looks really really sick and over here that is where the sunset is. and see. speaking a little bit about let's say sunset points it can be really nice by the beach we did that yesterday i think we're gonna do it again today but also what is quite cool is the bar upstairs it's a super famous spot i mentioned it early on a lot of people just come some people are honestly a little bit obsessed about taking photos here as we yesterday have seen <laughs> it was a little bit too, too crazy <laughs> So if you come right towards sunset, big chance it's going to be very, very busy. But a little bit later towards it gets actually very, very chill. And there's also some cool people in the evenings. So overall, good vibe. But right towards dawn, it does look crazy. So I can see why it's a very, very famous viewpoint. It's almost kind of like a tourist, like destination, a little bit tourist side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the evening program tonight came out first of all we're here by let's say our beach so the tip you have seen with the W is over there our little house is over here so tonight gonna be trying their Japanese restaurants looks really good we just walked by we saw they're cooking there in some type of an open kitchen so really pumped for that So definitely a big part whenever staying in a nice hotel. Kind of like the first places I go to is to check out the gym, just because usually that's the place where I start my day in the morning. And here to walk, just to walk towards it. So you get out of the little villa, you walk through the little pathways. It's a bit of a maze, but especially in the morning when the sun is shining through, really nice. Arriving here, usually in the morning, very, very quiet. I like that gym is open 24 seven. So maybe gonna come even earlier some days. Did a little bit of everything, nice full body, gonna do that probably twice while we're here. For now, super hungry, 10 a.m. at this point already. Let's go check out a breakfast. Come. Oops. 
And so, most important meal of the day, breakfast. That's why I usually skip it intermittent fasting style. But not if I stay at the W. <laughs> no, guys. I'm usually heading to breakfast towards 10, 11. They start from 6 till 11, which is kind of unheard of. And uh, yeah, I have to say their coconut is one of the best I've had in a long time. And overall, the food selection, you can put together like a really nice salad, really nice omelette, while they also have some local dishes. So huge variety. With a hotel like this, you expect a good breakfast, but if there's a little bonus, like seriously, just starting off the day, around 11, nice coffee. And honestly, outside, it's quite a bit hot. There's a bird lurking on our breakfast, which I kind of, kind of like. I think I've got a photo even, you can check it on Instagram. But even as hot as it is, the view is just so, so epic. Like the restaurant inside was actually quite nice. You still see the ocean and so on, but even, even the waiter is coming out. It's like, ooh, hot, hot, but you know. It's for the videos. Ah, it's not just for. <laughs> Yesterday you wanted to sit outside. Yeah. I didn't want it. Okay, and to give you a bit of a better tour of the property, so if you're coming down from the lobby, there is this actually quite nice ladder, so it's leading us down a few levels to get to where the main villas are. And actually, that's what I was thinking when we were walking up here, that even though the W has a lot of these colorful details, playful details, still the base of the whole hotel is very clean, very classy and, and this is the main pool of the hotel so as far as i saw i think every single villa they have here at the w they have their own pool but still got this nice common infinity pool facing the palm trees facing kopangan and then we're coming down entering the bit of a maze down here so basically our house is back there and theoretically most people I guess they take this little uh, what is it buggies the one that's coming up but we're taking the stairs over here there's also an elevator this is how I still get like 15,000 steps a day here on the properties and uh, this is the gym up there so if we're walking what have you been saying it's like a maze here a little bit yeah but there's... also that's how he reached out to his 15 K steps, yeah. you would just stay in the hotel. You taking, never take the car. <laughs> taking a lot of walks. You would have wanted to take it more often, huh? Well, just time. call it. Just call it. You can't even take it. <laughs> so we also can go here in the sideways. Here they actually have like some nice bird houses. Yeah. And they like hear, the, you hear the birds all over the property. So I think there's like six or something rows like that with houses in the back. And well, let's check that out. Actually, sweet spot. Sweet spot. Reach me from my winter hell I've got candles and candy I can be your daddy If you only let me creep into your presence hell Hey baby, can you tell I'm not a criminal And another kind of like interesting thing they have all over the hotel I think a few of these sweet spot stations So at first I was like, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be some candy, come over so pretty much just a refrigerator and then we're coming in and there is literally unlimited magnum ice cream what is it cornetto here they have some drinks over there and it's interesting it's open obviously all the time they refill it all the time i don't think anybody like you know would just like eat everything and just like take non-stop ice cream like i mean i would never do that so it kind of works the system works very it's, it's interesting baby what are you doing turn it off Looks like the day a bit cloudy, huh? <laughs> so guys, we are again in the lobby. I hope you yeah, got a bit of a feeling how it would be right now in Kozamui, a bit of more of a, let's say, vacation experience. And if you watch all the way until the end, as you know, like these videos, my goal is always kind of like to take you with me, to give you a feeling. On the one side, maybe if you would be staying here on the other side, 
just generally like let's say the full spectrum of different experiences be just riding out on your scooter having nice beaches having street food also like being in very nice places especially the architecture here especially the beach as you have seen in this video really i like i like the w much more than i thought i would because i thought it would be a yeah, nice playful hotel but actually especially the property here and just the aesthetics of like the different stairs and everything yeah really starting to like more and more appreciate the architecture especially this place is also very much an art gallery this is what they're famous for and uh, yeah has been fun has been also an intense days of uh, what was it four days of shooting throughout the whole properties these videos still i'm shooting them myself i'm putting them together myself it's also kind of like always a bit of a passion project but if it's 36 degrees outside you can ask bianca like <laughs> it's driving me crazy but overall a really nice time thank you to the w for hosting us and i think for the next few days we're gonna cop a scooter we're gonna drive around the island hopefully because as you can see Usually Copangan is in the back there, but like there's been just a huge cloud right now. Actually, I think it's clearing up. So either the Kozumui video is already up or it will be up very soon. And if you're new here, here on the channel, I document my life around the idea of building a life around the world, traveling, living in different places. Thailand has been at this point, I think four months approaching, definitely longer than I thought, but has been do doing a lot of slow travel, but that is about to change very much till next two months, probably will be three, four, five, maybe different countries. Videos are going to be coming much more frequently, so I can see you very soon. Creep into your prison cell